Right, this was a discussion item tonight, Joyce. No action was taken, though we did see upwards of 75 parents and students here voicing their opinions on both sides. Some of them were outside the boardroom today during a rally. We don't really know the long-term effects from wearing masks all year long, five days a week in school. What about the long-term effects of kids or adults in the schools getting COVID, getting sick from COVID or even dying from COVID? Well, there is opportunity for these parents and um, teachers or volunteers helping in the schools to get vaccinated. We want to be able to see people's facial expressions. We want to be able to have one normal year before we go to school, off to college next year. So I don't want it. Inside the meeting, parents from both sides gave their opinions. How many of our sons and daughters will need to become infected before you take proper action? Some receiving standing ovations. If you do not honor the positions you hold, we will work tirelessly to unseat you one by one. Thank you. This one leading to the board to intervene. Enough. This is inappropriate. These folks are your neighbors. In the end, the board reiterated Monday's agenda item on mitigation efforts was only up for discussion. Currently, masks remain recommended, not required in the district. So, Caroline, the board tonight said mask rules could change in the future. Did they nail down when that could happen? Uh, well, that is still a discussion item. It has not been decided on yet, Joyce. I just confirmed that with a board member. One option is when a classroom, a grade or a school hits moderately high to high burden rates, like five to 10%, they could potentially have to take guidance uh, from the county on how to move forward and they may move to a virtual schooling option. But again, that's not decided on yet, Joyce.